Since the steroid scandals broke, sports revenue has gone through the roof. People are buying more tickets, t-shirts, and souvenirs than ever. So if this is what we the people are voting for, why did Congress get involved? They always tell you that if you have a problem, talk to your congressman. Lucky for me, my congressman is Henry Waxman. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Very nice to meet you, Chris Bell. You. He's the one who called the baseball hearings in the first place. He's got to have some answers. I, I think it's important for um, s sports figures in major league sports not to uh, be allowed to use uh, steroids under any circumstance. And for young people, we certainly uh, don't want them to be using it. So the drug is a restricted drug. drug. It's not a, there's not a, um, uh, let me see. Brian, is it illegal to use it? It's illegal. It's legal in some circumstances. It's What's legal with legal medical with, pres okay. prescription. Okay. It's legal with a medical prescription, and the other drug was the uh, testosterone or just well, steroids in general. I, I think that they're they're also banned. Should, they're already banned in professional sports. Brian, am I right? Speak up if I'm wrong. Okay. Well, these these products are already banned. Cigarettes and. Um, and alcohol are legally available, but not if you're uh, under the age. When uh, and I think the age is 18 for both all around the country. Is it 18 or 21? I'm getting confused. What? 21. 21. Okay, so strike that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. President Bush allotted 15 million dollars for steroid education. Where is that money gone? Um, I don't know. Do you know? Okay, we don't know. <laughs> so. It's a war on drugs, and congressmen want to look tough on drugs, so they just demonize them all. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, these are, our children are being exposed to them, they're going to kill our children. And they just paint everything in black and white, and they really don't see the areas in between. For those of us who live in the gray areas, and whose life uh, depends on it, it's, it's a very important issue. Politicians. Um, are always looking for an issue to get behind. They're always looking for something to be able to say to the public, hey, look, you know, look at what my legislation's doing. Look at what my bill has done. Uh, I'm out there. I'm protecting you. I'm protecting the children. Turns out the most important witness at the baseball hearings was not a famous athlete. Taylor Hooten was a 17-year-old kid who committed suicide, and his father blamed steroids. I believe the poor example being set by professional athletes is a major catalyst fueling the high usage of steroids amongst our kids and parents across America should hold you accountable for behavior that inspires our kids to do things that put their health at risk and that teaches them that the ethics we try to teach them around our kitchen table somehow don't apply to them please help us to see that our children's lives were not lost in vain you have the power to do something about it, and we're counting on you to do so. Donald Hooten coming in and putting a human face on it was more powerful than the scientific, the statistics or any of that stuff. On average, 5,000 kids a year commit suicide in America, and most parents never know exactly why. I wanted to find out why Donald Hooten is so sure that the answer could be as simple as steroids. How you doing? Fine. Chris Bell. Don Hooten, nice to meet you. Uh, this is a, a very, very a competitive community, all the way from athletics to business. Uh -huh. uh, so you wind up in, a, in, in an affluent area where, where, where these kids can afford to play with this stuff. And of course, in hindsight, as we look back, all of the signs were staring us in the face. The behavior problems, the physical changes, but we had no idea what we were looking at. If we go back to the medical textbook, you know, the depression that comes along with steroid use is bad, but it's worse in that four to six week period following stopping using this uh -huh. stuff. And it was during that period that uh, uh, his mother found him uh, hanging on the door in his bedroom. Taylor Hooten's dad, Don Hooten, called me shortly after Taylor had uh, taken his life. Together, we came up with the idea of creating a private organization to educate the public about the dangers of anabolic steroid abuse. 
this is Taylor's room. You don't have to come in here long to realize uh, Taylor was a baseball player. I guess he started maybe five years old uh, in T-ball. But uh, Taylor was a um, great kid. We took Taylor to a psychiatrist, and she put him on a low dose of Lexapro. Uh, and as far as I know, this is the only steroid-related case that this well-meaning psychiatrist had ever had. And when the psychiatrist recommended that Taylor go cold turkey, and stop using steroids was a formula for disaster. Well, I feel terrible, obviously, about Taylor Hooten, but Taylor Hooten had a lot of problems, and he was on other drugs. And according to some newspaper accounts, he was on SSRIs, antidepressants, which have been shown to be associated with suicidal ideation and suicidal behavior. So whether his suicide was due to Lexapro or due to steroids or due to depression or due to stress of being a great athlete or five other things, I don't know. Do you think that uh, perhaps, you know, when I look on the uh, web, on your website for uh, the Taylor Hooten Foundation, um, do you think it's a responsibility to include antidepressants in there just in case there are critics or just to raise the awareness of how dangerous perhaps antidepressants may be? No, I don't. And the reason is our battle's not with antidepressants. Our battle's with steroids. The National Institute on Drug Abuse said the dangers of anabolic steroids are temporary and reversible. My son is dead. All of the, 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 the intellectual arguments about whether or not steroids are dangerous or not don't matter to me. I know they're dangerous. I saw it with my own eyes, and I watched my son die. The only evidence I need is the pictures of my son that are on the wall behind you. Look, I have a son, too. And the last thing in the world I can ever imagine doing is burying that kid. And it would probably ruin me for the rest of my life. And I could see we're having a cause to sort of assuage the feelings of guilt and de depression that are following my son's death would probably be, you know, helpful. Let's not let this happen to somebody else. But they're chasing the wrong, they're chasing the wrong thing. They're not doing it right. We're working with Major League Baseball to make that happen now, where, you know, hopefully in each local stadium, there's going to be a steroids awareness night. Do you find it ironic at all to have a steroid awareness night for baseball in a stadium that sells alcohol, which is responsible for a lot of deaths as a drug? Alcohol is legal to sell, and we can argue all day long whether tobacco kills and whether alcohol kills, and there's a clear distinction in my mind between tobacco or alcohol and steroids and methamphetamines and coke. Uh -huh. Thanks for sharing that with us. All right. I, know, I know how hard it could be and everything. And it was, this is it important was... stuff. Anybody who asks me about it, and I let them know. I tell them why. I tell them, you know, how much I take. I'll tell them anything they want to ask me about them. What about the kids? The kids are different because um, a couple kids asked me in front of the whole group, and I had to lie about it because this whole steroid thing is just out of hand. I know Coach Bell doesn't take any steroids. He's just 100% strong. I think somebody asked if he's ever on steroids, he and, uh, and he, he said no. And I, I completely believe him. He just teaches that steroids are basically, there's they're, they're a cheap way out of doing hard work. I say they're not for kids. Steroids are not for kids. That's plain and simple. You should achieve some things naturally, and then maybe you should think about them when you're, you know, an adult. The main reason why I don't take steroids is because he got into my head that I don't need them, that I got the potential right now as a teenager to get as strong as I want. What good would it do them to know that I take steroids? It wouldn't do them any good. They'd just be like, oh, man, he's a cheater. Would you ever tell our parents that you do it? Um, I mean, I, you know, if they, if they ask me. I only cup two pounds. I hope it's enough. You know, we went to church all the time. I grew up.